I still had Gong Glock 3000, like, oh my god, like, it was amazing, like, I was like, <laughs> What's up, your name? It's your buddy Rick King, and I'm back at it with another YouTube video. And as you can tell by today's title, you already know we're doing a story time. And this story time is clearly about me sleeping with my friend's boyfriend. <sighs> we're gonna get into this, like, we're gonna get into it right now because I got a lot of explaining to do because I don't want y'all to be thinking I'm just a homewrecker or a problem starter or, you know any of that type of stuff and the girl me and her are no longer friends and i'm just doing the story time this is my channel and i'm allowed to speak on stuff that i want to speak on this is america a free country and if she see this oh well i'm grown she's going i do what i want to do it happens can't change it period so we're gonna go ahead and let y'all do y'all thing make sure y'all do those three things like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on my post notification bell so you know i upload a youtube video follow my social media links down below and they're gonna be on the screen and let's get into this video okay so this video i mean this, this video this happened two and a half years ago i want to say so i was in louisiana i used to live in louisiana before i moved to texas and then me and this girl i'm gonna name her i'm gonna call her karen me and Karen was so-called friends, like we wasn't that much friends, but we were just, you know, associated or whatever. It was cool. I didn't look into her like a best friend. Like I didn't always talk to her. I would only talk to her when I was bored. So she had this boyfriend and his name was going to be Mike. So Karen and Mike was going together. We all went to high school together down there and they was going together for like three years, two years, well, one year when this happened. But now they're still together and they, you know, it's been like three years. So basically she asked me to come over to her house one time, one day. I think I was laying down literally on my phone. She was like, hey, you wanna come hang out, come to my house? I was like, cool, okay. So I went to her house. Her, me and her was like kind of close where like her mom would leave me at the house by herself and Bitch, I I basically lived there, shit. And then that's that I had an itch. That's when um her mom came by to her house to come get her to make groceries. They asked that if I want if I wanted to go. I was like, no, I'm kind of sleepy. I'm gonna take a nap. So you come back. That was my excuse. Cause I didn't want to go make groceries with them because I just didn't feel like, and I didn't want to walk around, you know, put up my fucking groceries. And then. That's when her boyfriend, Mike, came by like 30 minutes after they left. I was scared to open the door because I didn't know who it was knocking on the door, but it was just him. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so me and Mike would flirt. Like, I would flirt with him because he was so fine. He had muscles. He had tattoos on his chest and his neck. He had a nose piercing and he had like waves, like he had like waves. And you know, he was buff and like, he was just fine to me. So I would play with him all the time around her, but I don't think she thought nothing of it because that's her boyfriend and she know he not gay. Uh, apparently she thought he wasn't. And then, okay, so he came by and I was like, ooh, Lord, what you doing here? And he was like, he was, you know, he was looking for Karen. So I was like, oh, she went to the store with her mama to make groceries. And I thought he was gonna leave after that. But he was like, oh, okay, he just came in. Shut the door, locked it, and sat on the couch, the other couch. I, and I went sat on the other couch. And we were just watching TV and I was on my phone. I was like this. Mind you. I was nervous anyway. I was nervous to like be in the same room with him because I knew he was just that fine. Like I was just nervous. Like you, you get what I mean. And, and he just came out the blue. He broke the ice and he was like, 
what you doing over there? And I was like, nothing on my phone. We were like, and we just started a conversation. Like we just started talking and playing with each other and flirting. And I was thinking the whole time, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like this dude really playing with me. Like, like what's gonna happen? You know, just mind racing, heart racing too. And then he ended up saying, "So you gay?" And I was like, "What?" He was like, "So you gay?" He was like, "I was like, yes." He was like, "He was like, oh, okay." Mario, get out my video. This is my YouTube video. Come in, but just like, just get to the side. Cause I'm about to edit this out. She the good ass. Anyway, he was like, so you're gay? And I was like, yes. And he was like, and then he, he asked a question. Okay, why would y'all start talking? He asked me a question. He was like, do you suck dick? And I was like, Oh, I gotta bleep that out. I was like, yes. And he was like, okay, well, come suck mine. And I was like, what? He said, come suck mine. And I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? Bitch, I was so scared. Like, everything in me just like disappeared. Like, I was empty inside. And it was just, Ugh. Like it was a lot going on that day and I was just like, oh my God. And bitch, the thing, the next thing he did, he put it out. What I'm talking about, it was big. Like I'm talking about, it looked like a big old cucumber. Big bitch. I can, I ran over them. I saw a dog like 3000, like, oh my God. Like it was amazing. Like, I was like, I'm talking about I was got got 3,000 on that nigga real talk. And then after that, we started kissing and stuff. Mind you, this girl is still at the grocery store. I'm over here sucking her man penis and kissing all the homie. He squeezing my ass and shit, bitch. He was just, you know, he was feeling me like. And he still takes me to this day. Like, if I snap him right now, he would snap me back. But I ain't gonna do all that on camera. But um, she didn't come back to like an hour after we finished doing all of that. Mind you, after we finished doing all, the, all of that, we were just sitting on the couch. And then he was like trying to, you know, have sex with me and stuff. I didn't want to do that because I was like 17. No, I was 16. And he was like 18, gonna be 19. And I was like, I don't, I don't know how to do this stuff. So I'm not trying to have sex. But he kept asking, like, he just kept trying, like, grabbing me and stuff. And I'm like, no. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Right. Real we'll talk. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, not saying that I wouldn't have if I, if I would have, you know, prepared, I would have did it. Because. <laughs> I would have did it. Because he was just that fine. Oh, yeah, right. And he's still fine. But I didn't want to do it no more. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. And then. Plot twist. One day, I guess when you straight or you DL, like sometimes when you do something with a nigga, it just eat you up inside because you everybody think you straight and like you know it just eat you up inside that you just did something with a nigga. One day he just came out the booth telling his girlfriend Karen apparently that I tried to come on to him. Bitch, all hell broke loose. You already know me. I'm not gonna let a nigga lie on me. <laughs> Sorry to do it to you, but that's that was your fault for that one right there. He, she called me and was like, so what's this that my man tell him you try to come on to him? She was just going off. She was like, yeah, you're gay. Like, oh my God, you're fucking nasty. Like, et cetera, et cetera. And I was just like, girl, what are you talking about? Your nigga asked me to suck his D, so I went and did that. So you need to be checking him, not me, bitch. He's the gay one. You already knew I was gay. Fuck. And you mad about it, too. Um, and you shame. You should have kept your mouth shut. And me and her stopped being friends. And then the funny thing is, she still go out with him. Like, they're still together. They've been together for two more years after that. Like, they're still together. So basically, they've been together for three and a half years now. Even though that happened two years ago. What's wrong with her? She dumb. Like, she wild dumb. Like, you go with a nigga that, like, niggas. I guess you okay with him being bi. I guess some females are okay with their girl, their niggas being bi, but. Me and her not friends no more. I did that to her nigga. He and he still be texting me. Oh 
Um, I don't know what she's gonna do about that situation. But that's what happened. That's what happened when you look like this. Like, that's what happened. But that is the end of my YouTube video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the story time. Don't be in the comments telling me that like I'm a homework or like, you know I'm a drama person. Like I just feel like I need to just be a story time. I feel like that's my YouTube channel. I'm gone. If you see this over here, I don't do nothing. If you see this over here, I don't do nothing. So it's like you know, it's my channel. So yeah, that's the end of my YouTube video. Please make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on my post notification bell comment down below what you thought about this video follow my instagram my snapchat and my tiktok and i'll see you in my next youtube video